Welcome to the KNFB Reader Online School. I'm James Gashel. Grab a seat, grab your reader, let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to take a picture with KNFB Reader using a document stand. Now, in front of me, I have a document stand. This is actually a product called Stand Scan. You can buy Stand Scan on the internet at standscan.com. I kind of call it a smart box. It uh, lines everything up. It's designed for taking pictures of documents and uh, it's a fairly inexpensive product. It's generally available on the open market. And I like it, so I'll use it. And with KNFB Reader, uh, it will know that it's placed on a stand scan, as, as you'll see in just a moment. Let's start the reader. KNFB Reader, take picture. Button. All right, then we're back at the take picture screen. To use a stand, we have to change the profile. Profile is located on the bottom row of icons, so I'm going to touch near the home button on the bottom row. Document type. Document button. type, and then I'm going to swipe to the left. Um, select profile. Select, select profile, profile is the next one to document type, and I'll double tap. Select profile. Manual picture. Pick your item. So Adjust. here I have three choices, and this is an adjustable um, field and it was set to manual picture, as you heard it say. If I swipe up once... Automatic picture. Automatic picture. We will cover that in another lesson. And if I swipe up one more time... Document stand. And... Document stand. That's the only option. So you have manual, automatic, or document stand. I'm going to set the profile to document stand. So, since I like that profile or want to use that profile, I'm going to swipe right until I hear the word done. 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 And I will double tap. Alert. Please place your device on an empty document stand and align the camera with the aperture. So, immediately, if I'm holding the device and I don't have it on a stand, I get a pop-up message that you just heard, and that is to place the device on an empty document stand. In other words, do not have a document that it would be looking at on the stand. And so to get rid of this pop-up, the only way I can get rid of this pop-up, unless I cancel, which I don't want to do, is to place the device on the stand. So I'm going to do that. I have the stand in front of me. In the stand scan, there's a, a hole, which the pop-up referred to as an aperture, in the middle at the top. I'm going to make sure the camera points through the hole. With the device I have, which is an iPhone 6 Plus, I can feel the camera lens pointing through the hole. So I'm certain that I've got uh, the camera pointing down. It's laying now horizontal, um, looking down at a surface below where I can place a document. So think of the stand at about one foot high, and I've aligned the device with the edge of the top plate with the camera looking down on a clean reading surface. And um, for those of you who can see this, you can see that it is a box of about one foot high, but then you'll know that the bottom of the box is resting on the desk, and I can place documents in here. I have a document beside the stand that I'm going to insert into the stand. By the way, when I do the stand, I like to use a Bluetooth keyboard, so I don't actually have to reach up and interact with my device. I can press keys on the keyboard. Uh, I'll show you how that works. So I've got the arrow keys here. Please place your device on an empty document. Cancel. Button. Okay. Button. And I need to get rid of that pop-up. So I went arrow to the right twice. I passed by cancel. 
And now I will double tap, uh, press the up and down arrow at the same time on the Bluetooth keyboard to accept OK. And this tells the reader that it is on a document stand. Here we go. OK. File Explorer. But now I'm back in the Take Picture screen, but the reader knows it's on a stand and it's ready to go. It's ready to look for documents. Now, of course, I don't have a document in there yet. I'll put one in there. But uh, with the arrow keys, I can navigate through. File Explorer Settings. Camera flag, tilt icons, take picture, field of view, add picture from batch mode is off. OK, okay so I'm navigating mode. through the take various picture, icons on the uh, on. on the screen, but I'm not touching the reader. I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard. Now I have a document. The virtue, the, the benefits of using the document stand are that the reader is looking for a document and it will automatically take the picture um, uh, as soon as it sees that I have inserted a document into the stand and there is no movement so the picture can be taken. Watch and see how this works. When you hear those beeps, that means it's moving and it's looking for text. I take my hands away. Text found. The picture's taken. Jacobus Tenbrook Library, this unique Pause. resource, the what? only research library on blindness owned by the blind themselves was established in 2004 and is named for the founding president of the NSB, Jacobus Tenbroek, a distinguished professor at the University of California. A scholar and activist, D.R. Tenbroek published books and articles that have profoundly influenced play. Okay, so uh, we took the picture, it took automatically, and um, as long as, and you saw, as long as I inserted a document into the stand, that picture was taken. In another lesson, we'll learn how to use batch mode with a stand so we actually take multiple pictures and read lots of pages all as one document. But using a stand is really automatic and really simple when you're using KNFB Reader. That's it for now, but please come back and see and hear some of our other lessons about the KNFB Reader here at our online school. KNFB Reader is brought to you through the joint efforts of the National Federation of the Blind in the United States and Sensitech in Belgium. Visit our website, knfbreader.com, write to us at support at knfbreader.com, follow us on Twitter at KNFB Reader, or like us on Facebook. See you online. For KNFB Reader, I'm James Gashel.